guys, welcome to another day with Jesus. The word of God is like a fresh spring that can direct your day and your life. Each day comes with new mercies and a new word. So here's a new word for you today. Good morning and greetings in Jesus name. This is an amazing day that the Lord has given us. You know, so often our failures tend to determine the course of our life because of the poor choices that we make and we begin to start to get derailed off of our focus off of our destiny off of our purpose one day at a time one thing at a time i've come to just uh, uh, realize that not everybody that starts off well are able to finish well too and and sometimes it's not because of big challenges that that we face or huge problems and trials and difficulties that we face it's sometimes those small things that we do the wrong things that we do that the little little mistakes that we make in in the wrong directions that at times ends up in the worst ends us up in the worst possible place po- possible you know uh, if you look at the story of job you know there is this one particular thing that he says that which which uh, is so much to learn from and receive from the bible says in the book of job chapter 31 and verse 1 the verse says i made a covenant with my eyes and this is the covenant that i made that i would not look with lust at a young woman he made a covenant with his eyes and the covenant was that my eyes cannot look at a young woman or an old whatever kind of woman it be that with lust in my eyes that i will not look lustfully at a woman now this is an amazing vow that he is making with himself a decision that he is making with himself because he knows that hey although lust may not look like a huge problem you know for the world in in the world that we're living in today and all those things where lust is celebrated you know and and try to advertise and and you know it's acceptable so commonly even in serials and and in movies everywhere lust is celebrated and 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 here i am and i'm i, I want to make a vow with my eyes i want to make a promise with my eyes and this is the promise that i want to make with my eyes is that i would not participate with what the world is doing i would not give in to what the world is doing you know and and that small decision that job made it had so much of consequence and and it had so much it brought so much of perspective into his life i'm telling you if if we can make small decisions like this let's talk about lust for a moment you know jesus said that if you look at somebody with lust in your eyes you don't have to necessarily sleep with that person to break your marriage you've already committed adultery with that person in your heart and i think uh, so many of us are guilty of that you know that we've made the wrong uh, choices with our eyes so often and can i encourage you this morning to elevate your standard of uh, purity to elevate your standard of making a covenant with god with your eyes it may not necessarily be lust which you struggle with but whichever area of life you are struggling with jesus said if your hand causes you to sin cut off your hand if your eye causes you to sin gorge out your eyes if 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 whatever part of the body is it that is causing you to sin it's better that you enter into heaven without that rather than burn in hell for the rest of your life with that particular part of your body now you may ask me pastor why why is jesus being so cruel it's because you know to start with to begin with let us say lust with the eyes looking at a young woman with lust in your eyes you may think pastor i'm i'm just doing this for 2 minutes a day or you know it's just by chance or once in a while what what happens is the more we continue to feed our eyes and our lust and our desires the more our desires will claim our lives and 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 may want more and then all of a sudden the desire will not be satisfied with just a look then that desire will want to touch 
you know and then that desire will want to go further and 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 then it, it would want to do make that a lifestyle or a habit and then it would want to make it a uh, 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 an alternate lifestyle where we, which is a hypocritic lifestyle and and while maintaining a, a nice face before everybody else and over a period of time this can wreck havoc in your life and you will be like a pharisee with a uh, that jesus called as a whitewashed tomb on the inside you're decaying but on the outside you look perfectly all right and that can cause you to lose your destiny that can cause you to lose the purpose for which god has called you you know everything that you have been doing and building up i'm i'm sure you'll not lose the love of god for you i mean there's nothing that can separate you from the love of god but there are things that can separate you from your destiny that that god has prepared for you if god has called you to be a a nation changer for example look at samson he was called to be a man who would be a leader over the nation but his lust took over and you know did god still love him did god still give him grace did god still show mercy when he cried out yes god did do that and yet he died without actually completely fulfilling his destiny he died uh, you know doing his job partially he did not complete like all the other judges in israel at that time they ruled and brought peace into the land for so many years however samson's uh, success was so short lived and may i encourage you this morning to to disconnect from every one of those small things make a covenant Uh, make a promise that i'm not going to spend this money in this wrong place i'm not going to go into this wrong friendships i'm not going to uh, use my eyes for this particular thing i'm not going to use my instagram account for the wrong purposes i'm not going to use my facebook account uh, to stalk on somebody i'm not going to use my internet availability to go on to the wrong websites i i i'm just going to make a covenant with everything that i've got that I, that these are holy and 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 sacred and my eyes are sacred my body is sacred my my equipments are sacred and and if there is anything that tries to threaten that sacredness then i will disconnect from that and i will make a vow to do the same may god encourage you with this words may god give you the grace and the strength to do it and and follow through with it for the rest of the day god bless you i'll catch up with you tomorrow morning May God bless and multiply the word you just received. We have plenty of resources for you to receive and be blessed by. Especially the videos and audios of every sermon preached by Pastor Priji and Rashmi. Find all of them at pastorpriji.com.